Hey everyone, my name's Nick, and we have a brand new MK3 by, Co by a coin kite here. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to get this thing up and running with Wasabi. So I just took this out of the bag, completely brand new MK3. Has never been turned on before, so let's just turn it on for the very first time. So when you first load it up, it's just gonna take you through um, their terms of sale and use. If you scroll down here, it'll say the link and you can click on that and read the full thing if you want to. I'm not going to do that in this video. We're just gonna hit the, the little check mark and go on. It says your new, your new cold card calculator should have arrived in a sealed bag. Yeah, it's just a lot of precaution stuff they do here early on. You can read through all of that when you're setting it up. If you have any issues, email their support and don't put any Bitcoin on it if you think it's been tampered with. So we're just gonna, uh, yeah, just hit the check mark and now we're into the main uh, section of the cold card. So now the next part is we're gonna just set up a pin. This is gonna be a two part pin at the very start of every single time you load up your cold card, you are required to put in this pin. So up there where it says choose pin, we're just gonna hit the check mark. This is really important um, information in here. It pretty much says that you'll start you know, with a two part pin. Don't make it as simple as that. Do something more complicated and write it down. But really do not forget to write this down. It's very important you have it written down because you will forget it. <laughs> I, I've done it before, but and luckily I had it written down where I could go back and, uh, and uh, you know, get it from where I wrote it down. But um, you can read through all that. It's just a bunch of warnings and, and precautions telling you what to do. We're gonna hit the check mark. The next one is, you know, a big warning sign telling you to, you know, write everything down. If you don't and you lose it, you will lose all your funds. At the end of this, if you were to hit the check mark, it's not gonna set you through. You have to hit the six. And now we're gonna write down our pin. So for demo purposes, I don't really care if you guys know the pin. I don't care if you know the seed phrase to this, because at the end of the day, I'm just gonna destroy this seed and wipe everything. So I'm not gonna put any Bitcoin on it. But for this demo, let's just make our, our passphrase. 2020 because we just had a halving this year so why not and 2024 because that's when the next halving is so after we write it down we just type it in here two zero two zero hit enter write these down and you are going to want to write down these words because every single time you open up your cold card, you will be prompted with these two words. So for this video, we're just gonna make a new wallet. In the future, I will make videos on how to import wallets and do other fancy stuff. But for right now, we're just gonna hit new wallet and it's gonna generate a wallet. So we're gonna have a list of these 24 words and we're gonna have to write down each and every single one of them. So I'm gonna do that right now and then come back when I'm done. So now we got all 24 words written down. Take a look at it. Really don't care if you see it. Scroll down on here just a little bit more. It's gonna ask you to please check and double check your notes and there will be a test. What is this test? I really hope you wrote down the number next to your word because it makes it super easy. And we're just gonna go through this list real quick. So, Word 22, my word 22 is vacant. So you're either gonna choose one, two, or three, and it's gonna correspond with that. So I'm gonna choose two, 
What is 23 minus whip? Also two. What is 12 minus captain? Size. 13, wine. I think you have to go through every single number just so they make sure you wrote down every single one and in order because order is very, very important. 19, trouble. Seven, annual. Three is census. 10 is ridge. Nine is dinner. 17 is denial. 15 is quit. 20 is rally. 18 is photo. A lot of twos all in a row. Um, tissue is next. One is vicious. Eight is quote. 24 is chuckle, 14 is text, 16 is pulp, 5 is opera. Should almost be done here, 11 is slot. Here it is, it's done, it's applying. Just wait for this to load, just one second and you are all done making your first wallet. So next, we're gonna actually get Wasabi Wallet running with this. Now, how do we do that if this is not plugged into a computer? This, I recommend never, ever, ever plugging into a computer. So we're gonna take an SD card. I got this at like CVS for like 20 bucks. We're gonna plug it in here, and then you're gonna hear a click. I really hope you heard that, but that means it in, that means it's in and it's all ready to go. So we're gonna scroll down to advanced and we're gonna go down to micro SD card and we're gonna scroll down just a little bit more into export wallet. Now exporting this wallet is just gonna, it's just gonna do a skeleton wallet. So when you put it on the Wasabi, it's not, it's not gonna be custodial on Wasabi. You can only, you know, send and receive on it, but no one, no one can really steal your Bitcoin on it. Click on that. You can also use with Bitcoin Core, Electrum Wallet, Wasabi, Generic. You know, you can also use this with like Blue Wallet, the mobile phone wallet. I've seen people use it before. We can also do a video on that as well. But today we're just gonna do Wasabi. This saves the skeleton Wasabi file onto the micro SD card. You can then use, you can then open that file in Wasabi without ever connecting this cold card to a computer. Yeah, so just as I was saying earlier. You can read this. It's gonna give you more some more details, but we're just gonna go on to the next part. It's gonna generate and put it onto the SD card. So on the SD card, it's gonna say new wasabi.json. Scroll down a little bit more, nothing else. And that's it. So next, we're just gonna pop this out and get it into the computer. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Wasabi's website and download the wallet. This link will be in the description. So as we scroll down, you're gonna find whatever um, computer you're using, whether it be Mac, Windows, Linux, or other and you're gonna just click on this and download it and open it up. After that, we're gonna plug in our SD card and it pops up around here. Yours probably won't pop up as cold card. I had to rename mine, but it's gonna pop up as new wasabi.json. We're just gonna click this and drag it to the desktop. After that, let's open up Wasabi.
give it a minute in this bottom, this blue bar for Tor to get up and running and everything to get set up. That might take a couple seconds or a minute. But once it's up, uh, I already had this wallet preloaded on Wasabi. It's a coin join wallet I use for coin joining and stuff. But uh, after that, we're gonna click on hardware wallet and import cold card. And then we are going to go to desktop and find our cold card, hit open. And there it is, cold card zero. So we're gonna hit load wallet. This might take a minute, it has to download a block, but I will be back when it's loaded. Now that that block has downloaded, we're all set up and ready to go. In the top right, you can see cold card with the zero Bitcoin, you can send, receive. I'm not sure if they've added yet. So hardware wallets, you can't coin join. I don't wanna speak on behalf of them, but I think I saw a tweet saying that they're working on it, so in the future you could be. I could be wrong though. Um, um, but yeah, that's that's another reason why I had this coin join wallet. I just made you know another just random wallet so I can coin join and send to you know my uh, my cold card. I will be making a video in the future on what's the best way, privacy wise, to store your Bitcoin using Wasabi because there are, there are many ways you can use Wasabi in uh, terms of privacy, but today we're just gonna be doing the basics. So in terms of receiving Bitcoin, we're gonna click on receive. We're gonna hit generate address. Oops, we have to type in observer. So let's just say, let's just say uh, Bitcoin magazine test. Hit generate hit this down arrow and that's the wallet. I am going to send just a little bit of Bitcoin to it, like maybe 10 bucks, not much at all. So, um, scanning it on my phone, confirm. So I just sent a hundred thousand stacks to this wallet which should be confirming any second. This is a Beck 32 wallet, so it should pop up real soon, but we will have to wait for it to confirm. So if we click on history, we see that the Bitcoin has arrived and I will be back right as it confirms. So now in this top right corner right here next to the date, if you see this green check mark, that means it's confirmed and it's officially in here and you can do whatever you want with it. Scrolling through, if you were to coin join and we can make a whole new video on this, you just hit the check mark and down here, there would be a lot more info on what to do. Hit receive, we already went through that and send. So we're gonna send this to a blue wallet. So we're gonna click on, you have to check this. The address, I sent the address and I had it uh, copied on my clipboard. So it automatically got put in. So actually, we're not going to do that. We are, cause since this is a cold card and we need to sign it, um, you know, PBST or partially signed Bitcoin transaction. Sorry if I said that wrong. We're going to need to go down here to advanced and build a transaction. So now we click on the Bitcoin we want to send, put in the address, make sure it's the right address, put the amount of Bitcoin. We're just going to send the amount. We can select the fee. Um, yeah, so then we hit build transactions. It was successfully built. Here's all the details to it. Now, if we scroll down here, we're going to hit export. And we are going to save this in here in our cold card file for the SD card.
hit save. Fail to use your operating system. Cannot find a path to. That is weird. Um. Export it. Oh, psh, let's export it to the desktop. Actually, let's do that. Yep. So we close out of here. We will see it is right here. Then we will open up this and we will drag and drop to the SD card. And then once that's done, we will click on this and we will eject the SD card. And then after that, we're going to get right back on the cold card and sign this transaction. So now we just take the SD card and place it into the cold card. Remember, so you hear the little click. After that, just hit ready to sign. It's reading, validating, okay to send X amount of Bitcoin. Just scroll through the details here to make sure everything exactly how you put it. And if it is, click the check mark and it will sign your transaction. And there it is, it's signed and it is saved right there as signed.psbt. Once you scroll through all the information, click the check mark. And you're all done. And now we're gonna plug it back into the computer to broadcast the transaction. So now we're back on the computer. We got the SD card plugged in, Let's pull it up. And you will see in here, the name of the transaction with the final transaction and a signed transaction. Now what you wanna do is you wanna drag and drop the signed transaction to your desktop. Move it over here. And then we're gonna open up Wasabi and we're gonna hit Open Transaction Broadcaster. And then same button, Import Transaction. Go to Desktop. Click on the Sign Bitcoin Transaction and hit Open. And then down here, Broadcast transaction. Let that do its thing. And boom, it's done. In the bottom right, you see it sent the Bitcoin. The transaction was broadcasted. And you just successfully sent Bitcoin on a cold card to another wallet. So that's pretty much it. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you. I hope I helped you in some way. If you did find this video helpful, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe, as well as check out our website, bitcoinmagazine.com to stay up to new, to stay up to date with all the, your Bitcoin news, as well as follow us on our social medias at Bitcoin Magazine. And yeah, have a good rest of your day, guys.